Microsoft just released Windows 11 24H2 and I'm going to have the download link and a pinned comment and in the description so be sure to download your Windows 11 24H2 and in this episode we're going to install Windows 11 24H2 on a clean hard drive and I'm going to show you the new GUI setup. So let's get started. Okay, so here is the first screen that you're going to see when you run the ISO image. So you're going to click on next. We're going to click on next again for the keyboard option. Here is we're going to select install Windows 11. Uh, you have to check on agreeing everything to del be deleted files, apps, and settings. So down here, you're going to see previous version of setup. So if you click here, it's going to take you to the classic setup page. Um, what you were actually used to all along when you're setting up Windows 11. So we can check that out. So if you click here and there's your old setup running and then you can install like the normal setup you're used to seeing. So let's go back to the new setup and we'll finish installing Windows 11 24 H2. Okay, so we're gonna click on, I agree, everything will be deleted and then hit next. Here you're gonna enter the product key. If you don't know, have the product key, then you can say, I don't have a product key. Normally, if you buy a computer from Dell or Lenovo, especially with laptops, it won't ask you for the product key because it'll have the um, embedded product key on the motherboard. So here we're gonna say, I do not have a product key. Okay, so here's the selection. So we're going to select Windows 11 Pro. Click on next. Click accept. Okay, so this is a new interface all together. So here, um you'll see that we're going to delete these partitions so when you're installing your your windows 11 24h2 you're going to probably have the image on a flash drive be very very careful on this part here because you're going to have a disk zero and then below it you're going to have disk one normally disk one is going to be your flash drive be very careful because you don't want to start deleting stuff from the flash drive. So here we're going to delete the partition. We're going to delete all the partition until it comes to unallocated space. All right. So now we're going to hit next. Okay. So we're ready to install. It's going to install Windows 11 and it's going to keep nothing. All right. So now it's installing Windows 11. We're gonna come back and we're gonna finish the installation. So now you're gonna to come to a screen like this. We're gonna hit okay for the, or yes for the region. And we're gonna hit yes for the keyboard layout. We're gonna skip for a second keyboard layout. Okay, we're gonna name our device. We're gonna skip for now. We'll name it later. If you wanna name the device, name it and then hit next. Okay, you're going to come up to a screen like this. So Windows 20, Windows, Windows 11 24 H2, you can actually bypass this by no internet. No internet at all. So we're going to do that. Okay, so now you're going to come to a screen like this. Um, they did. And they did add a feature of the install driver, which you can click on the install driver. It'll come up with the box and you will search for your uh, network card driver here <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to bring up a command prompt that will make it where it's going to have a where it will say uh don't have internet so we're going to do that so what you're going to do is you're going to hit shift f10 okay and we will put in a command in here. Okay, so in the command 
prompt, you're going to type in OOBE backslash bypass NRO and hit enter. Now it's going to restart and we'll come back and we'll finish up. Okay, so yes, we're going to have to go through all the steps again. So we'll just uh, do what you were doing. So hit yes on the region, keyboard layout for the US. We're going to skip for the second keyboard layout. Now I don't have internet. If you click that, then it'll come up to a screen where you're going to enter your computer name. Here we're going to say tech, click next. We're going to enter a password. We're going to confirm the password. Now, if you want to make this a little bit easier on you, uh, when you make your ISO, make it through Rufus. Um, with Rufus, you can actually tell Rufus to create you a local user account. If you don't know how to do that, I'll have a um, card in the upper right hand corner. Click that and it'll show you how to create a bootable USB drive for Windows 11. In that video, it shows you how to create a local user account. And then after you do that, come back and we'll finish. Okay, we're gonna hit next. Uh, security questions, we're gonna do Bob, because I love Bob. Yeah, city you were born, Bob. Good city, oldest cousin, Bob. Yeah, Bob's cool. All right. So we should be coming up here. Uh, privacy, you're going to uh, want to turn all of these off. Find my, find my vote device, location, you, you want to turn off diagnostic data. You don't want uh, Microsoft knowing your data. Ink and typing and tailored experiences. Hit accept. So now it's creating a user profile. And then from here, you're going to go on the desktop and you should be good to go. So that is how to install Windows 11 24H2 on a clean hard drive. Be sure to subscribe and turn your bell notification on and like this video because I'm going to have more episodes on Windows 11 24H2. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.